<laughs> you are not, of course. It doesn't that matter. Well, um, uh, yes, because the origin of light preceded in the animal kingdom the creation by God of the first man. That is to say, there is absolutely no contradiction between the beginning of life in animal kingdom and the creation of man by God. There is absolutely no, no, not, uh, in, not a, a lack of compatibility, not at all. It's at, at different stages of the, of the story of uh, living beings. Man was created, uh, let us say, uh, after, uh, let us say, three, three billion years after the beginning of life on this earth. The creation of man is extremely recent, and the beginning of life on the earth is very, very old. Today, unfortunately, those who are the leaders in science are ignorant, indifferent, and even inimical towards the Quran. Those who believe in the Quran are mostly ignorant of science. How, in your opinion, this big gap should be filled up in the interest of humanity and the interest of the Quran? C certainly, this is an excellent question and this is an excellent reflection. Unfortunately, those who are the leaders in science are ignorant or indifferent. And, uh, and uh, those who believe in the Quran are mostly, mostly ignorant of science. I think it is too much. It is too much. Huh? Because you have very famous uh, Muslim scientists. Uh, one of them, uh, whom I know well, is Abdul Salam. Abdul Salam is a Nobel Prize winner in physics and is one of the most uh, com competent person in the world for the, the uh, to describe in order to describe the the constitution of the matter in in its depth. Alors, so that you, you are, uh, I think that you are too much severe about uh, the Muslim scientists. But I want to tell you that now in Europe, I know several scientists. Who, uh, who, uh, who, with the discovery of molecular biology, the progress of molecular biology and the progress of genetics, are now seriously embarrassed when uh, one is, uh, is evoking before them the problem of the existence of God. And I know that several ones in France particularly which are now changing their ideas and they say that science is able uh, to, uh, to lead uh, scientists to ponder over the existence of God or to believe in the existence of God. There is a progress now with, with the, the, the most recent discovery in the functions of the cell, because I think it is the most important discovery in this century. You, you make the choice because I see you have a lot, no, a lot of no, papers. No, no, no. And make your choice. <laughs> uh, what is the scientific explanation of Barzakh, which Barzakh. is Barzakh, which is mentioned in the Quran? Now, excuse me, uh, it will be necessary for me not only to speak about a word, but to, to know exactly the verse, and to know the place of the verse in the Quran, and to know what is before and what is after. It is very important to have an idea of the meaning of a word. Excuse me, I, but I, I am not a sheikh. <laughs> It was, it was very political answer. Uh, it is a little 
Have you from the no, 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 she not. <laughs> Can you comment on the existence of extra terrestrial life in the light of the Quran? <clears throat> I, I have not to comment <laughs> because this is something to be discovered by human beings that is not yet discovered. I think it is mentioned in the Quran. Maybe I am wrong, but I think the uh, uh, no, well, the verse is Sabas Sabawatin wa min al ardi misla wunna. Jal alau alazi jala Sabas Sabawatin wa min al ardi misla wunna. Isn't it that maybe? It's okay. Thank you, thank you. But I mentioned that, and I said in my text that there is something to be discovered in the future. But the Quran said that, as far as I know. I hope that I am right. What is the exact meaning of "arrijalu min al nasi qawamu"? What rijalu? Rijalu min al nasi qawamu. It is difficult once more to, to give you a precise comment about the world, but I, I cannot, I, I must uh, I, I have a look at the Quranic text in a complete verse and uh, not at all to, I cannot give you a, a comment about a word or, or two or three words in the Quran if I do know perfectly well the Quranic text for this passage. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. We will see later on. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any verses of Quran which appear to have been refuted by modern science? No, 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 not one, not one. I made an inquir inquiry yeah? in depth, be sure. <laughs> Does the Quran mention Eve? Is it a Christian and non-Muslim belief? About Eve. Eve, but if you want to, to uh, the, the the wife of Adam, if you want to spell uh, to uh, call her Eve or uh, not to give the name of Eve, for me that doesn't matter. It is the same meaning in in the Bible and in in the Quran. Has any school or curriculum incorporated your twin sisters concept when teaching science? Has any school or curriculum incorporated your twin sisters concept, concept when teaching Mike, science? It's not my, my concept. This is an old concept of Islam. The religious and science are twin sisters. That does not come from me uh, uh, at all. It is an old concept in the story of Islam. Okay. Could science prove the mm, clearance of moon? No. Clearance of room, moon. Shakal Khamar. Cleavage of room, uh, moon. Cleavage.